You have been a much-traveled person these last few years, Imperial Administrator. Now, however, your appearance is requested back at Xiangyang. While our Emperor Shi Huangdi has been busy standardizing the currency and simplifying the alphabet, he has also been contemplating what the next world has in store for him. His ongoing quest for the magical elixir of eternal life has not yet been rewarded. Fearing death, he knows he must be well prepared if he is to be adequately protected and comforted in the afterlife. It is for these important tasks that your humble services are required. For the Emperor's security in the next world, a vast pit must be dug and then filled with a powerful army. Each member of this underground army will be a full-sized terracotta likeness of an actual soldier of our armed forces. For his comfort, a tomb must also be dug and stocked with quantities of fine provisions. The tomb will then be crowned by a magnificent grand tumulus that will proudly rise high above the city. While construction proceeds on these projects, a visit by the venerated Shi Huang Mu might help to speed the building process.
the glory of Shanyang, capital of the mighty Qin Empire, rises even higher than the grand tumulus that now stands before it. It is curious that our emperor had the foresight to begin this project when he did, as there are now strange rumors drifting about. During his current expedition seeking the potion of eternal life, he has kept much to himself, allowing only Li Shi, his most trusted advisor and audience. Oddly, a cart of older assaulted fish now precedes the emperor's imperial carriage, masking an unpleasant smell said to be emanating from his vehicle. has happened. The horrible rumors of the death of Shi Huangdi, the first emperor, were true after all. Though his body lies safely entombed beneath the grand tumulus, ruinous intrigue now rules the imperial court, and the riotous crowds in the street grow stronger by the day. It seems the people have had enough of the heavy burdens and tight restrictions forced upon them by the Qin Empire in the name of progress, and now word is that rebel armies are nearing the capital. Woe is upon us.